ripples spreading on the water's surface. Electrons behave just like waves as well. Dr. Akita Tonomura of Hitachi Limited focused his work on this fundamental theory of physics. Tonomura was determined to develop a new electron microscope. He confronted barrier after barrier before finally observing electron waves and making a major contribution to the advancement of science. Tonomura devoted himself to observing the hidden worlds of nature. Hitachi Limited manufactured Japan's first electron microscope in 1941. Tonomura committed himself to continuously improve electron microscopes. From that time on, many companies developed electron microscopes, and performance improved as a result of the competition. Among them, Hitachi electron microscopes were leading the market with orders rapidly flowing in from all over the world. As electron microscopes became popular, in 1965, Akira Tonomura joined the Central Research Laboratory of Hitachi Limited. The young Tonomura received thorough training, working with a group of distinguished senior researchers. Since establishment in 1942, the Central Research Laboratory's motto has been Don't fear failure, challenge things positively, along with Hitachi's founding principle, the pioneer spirit. Researchers worked on R&D that led to the birth of new industries. In addition, inspired by discussions with Dr. Hideki Yukawa, Nobel Prize laureate in physics, and by other activities, they positively undertook basic research. Among them was a researcher that Tonomura revered. Watanabe Hiroshi-san is a person who is very active. And he worked in the physical field. Studying the fundamentals of physics, Watanabe experimentally proved the Bohm-Pines theory of quantum mechanical electron plasma and received excellent evaluations from all over the world. Later, Watanabe became the general manager of the Central Research Laboratory and the executive vice president of Hitachi Limited, directing R&D company-wide. Watanabe's results encouraged Tonomura, and he dreamed of someday resolving the mysteries of quantum mechanics. Early in the 20th century, quantum mechanics was established by Einstein, Heisenberg, Schrodinger, and others, attempting to go beyond Newtonian mechanics. In quantum mechanics, electrons have the properties of both particles and waves. This interested Tonomura. But proving principles of quantum mechanics through experiments was very difficult at that time. In 1968, Tonomura began to develop a new microscope with the aim of directly observing electron waves. The equipment is called a holography electron microscope. Tonomura was convinced that the only way this would be possible was to use a field emission electron source. Since nobody in Japan had attempted to use this technology at that time, development stalled early on. It's just like the electrical discharge at the time of lightning. And it has to be done in an ultra-high vacuum to stably acquire electrons with good coherence. 
超高深空というのは日本は非常に遅れてたんです、えー、なかなかできなかったんですでそういう技術と一緒に立ち上げていったと After solving the vacuum problem, next came the big problem of electron beam stability. 外からですね、交流磁場が入ってくると電子線というのはすぐ揺れちゃう。そうすると光源が揺れたことになる。でも使い物にならない。で、それを除くのが大変だ。This mysterious undulation was perplexing for some time. Finally, the cause was discovered to be trains passing some two kilometers away. 電車は止めてもらうわけにいかないから、ね、<笑>まあ原因が分かるとねやり方あるんです技術はだけど分かんないやつはねもうどうしようもないからそこがやっぱり決めてですねその壁を乗り越えるのは。After overcoming barriers and pushing the limit for 10 years the goal was finally within sight the number of interference fringes which expresses equipment performance Increased dramatically. The Kanshu Jima got a thousand bomb more to not on this net. In 1978, field emission electron holography was realized. These are lines of magnetic force in a cobalt magnet, the first ever to be seen. A new door in the realm of scientific observation was opened. The field emission electron microscope developed by Tonomura and co workers increased the reputation of Hitachi Technologies, and the product became a market leader around the world. Having verified equipment performance, Tonomura set out to realize his 20 year dream. Observing electron waves. In electron microscopes, electrons are emitted one at a time. They reach a screen after passing through double slits. This is an image of the screen observed. A single bright spot appears, then another. These are electrons arriving at the screen. The electron distribution seems to be random. But as the number of electrons increases, a striped pattern is formed. What does this pattern mean? Doing a similar experiment with water, waves interfere with each other, creating interference fringes. The striped patterns created by electron particles are interference fringes. This shows that electrons have wave like properties. Electrons are waves as well as particles. This experiment clearly shows the quintessence of quantum mechanics. It is currently used for teaching physics at high schools and universities around the world. The experiment conducted by Tonomura and co workers was selected as one of the ten most beautiful experiments in science, alongside those of Galileo, Newton, and others. Just as mysteries of the universe unfolded with the invention of the telescope in the 17th century, this new observation equipment. Enabled a deeper understanding of nature. In 1979, fierce debate broke out among physicists regarding the validity of the Aharonov Bohm effect, or AB effect. The AB effect is the theory that electrons are affected by a magnetic field even when not coming in contact with it. This is a crucial effect in quantum mechanics. Many experiments were carried out to prove this theory, but to no avail. Tonomura began experiments to prove the AB effect. 
もう何としてでもやるということで始めたと思います、まあ、もちろんそれには殿村さんの強い意志があったわけでやっぱり殿村さんっていう人はですねこ,こ,これとやると決めたことはもうとにかく最後までやり抜くと。Full support of the laboratory was required for success. So management had to understand the importance of the AB effect too. Tonomura wrote a letter to Dr. Chen Ning Yang, a prominent scientist who had pointed out the importance of the AB effect. A month later, Tonomura received a call from Dr. Yang himself. Tonomura went to meet Dr. Yang, who was visiting Japan, and brought him to the Central Research Laboratory for discussion. Uh, he wants, with his technology, to do the Haranoff bomb uh, experiment. Which has not been tested up to that time uh, experimentally. Uh, and he asked me whether I thought that's a good idea. I said that's an excellent idea, but it's very difficult. Dr. Yang's words encouraged Tonomura and his co workers very much, as they had already decided to conduct the experiment, no matter how hard it was. ヤン先生というのは非常に物理あるいはもう物理だけじゃなくてやっぱり人類の中の最高の知識を持った知恵を持った人ですから、まあ、その人がやっぱりこれは重大な大事な実験であると言ってくださったことは非常に大きくて。The laboratory took a deeper interest and decided to fully support the experiment.The pioneering spirit of fearing no failure and attempting the impossible was indeed alive. 僕たちは電子線の方は受け持つんですがサンプルが結構難しいこれはもう先端技術というか微細加工技術の本当に極限 In 1981, sample development started by incorporating the latest semiconductor, magnetic recording and superconducting device technologies この観察のための電子顕微鏡の開発からあるいは最終的には資料をですね、まあ、絶対冷度に近いところまで冷やしたんですけども、まあ、その冷却システムの開発それからその AB 効果を検証するためのデバイスの設計とかですね、まあ、そういうことを含めてなかなか超えられるか超えられないかわからないバリアだったと思うんですけどもそれでもとにかく成功させなきゃ終わらないんだなとみんな思ってましたし。Two years later, in 1983, they obtained the results they had long waited for. The AB effect was experimentally verified. Tonomura published a paper immediately. But an objection to the magnetic field confinement method was raised, and the dispute continued. Tonomura revised the experiment. And worked hard to obtain results that would convince everyone. The problem of magnetic field confinement was solved by completely covering the sample with a superconducting material. In 1986, experiments reached a climax, with observations continuing day and night. And finally, A definitive image was obtained. There exists an interference fringe displacement inside the hole and outside the toroidal ring with no magnetic fields outside the toroid. This proved the AB effect. A single image settled a heated dispute among physicists around the world. This clearly indicated that vector potential acts on electrons. A means of unveiling the essence of nature was in sight. The experiment was able to do it. It was a very 
できるわけですね、えー、AB 効果っていうのは直接実証するっていうのはやはり物理学の歴史で大きなインパクトを与える仕事だと思いますけど。In 1999, Tonomura was awarded the Benjamin Franklin Medal in Physics. The Benjamin Franklin Medal has a history longer than that of the Nobel Prize and is considered one of the most prestigious physics awards in the world. Franklin Institute is proud to award you its 1999 Benjamin Franklin Medal. Tonomura used electron waves to attain an achievement that is recorded in the history books of science. But there is no end to Tonomura's unquenchable desire to see worlds that nobody else has seen. <laughs> <laughs>